Now, some of you who watch my videos regularly just asked, how do you actually run? Oh, well, not run, but how do you overclock the old locked older leg CPUs on the more modern Z790 motherboards like the Z790 Apex, the Apex A Core, and the list goes on. You can obviously run those CPUs just fine, even with the normal official BIOS you can find on that particular motherboard's website. But when you try to overclock the CPU over 103 megahertz on the base clock, you will notice the uh, whole system will just enter into endless like post loop, like post failure loop, and you have to shut down the system and you have to clear the CMOS. So what do we need to do to be able to overclock those old locked older lake CPUs on the newest LGA 1700 motherboards just like back in the day on the Z690 when this whole topic was a big thing. Like when we had the first like posts about people overclocking the very affordable G7400 the 12300, the 12100F, and some of the locked 6-core variants. I think it's like the 12400 and so on. So, I wanted to get back into this topic when I wanted to rerun some of the uh, benchmarks with the G7400, because that's still the fastest dual-core CPU in the world. Now with the quad-core it's not so simple anymore as we have a new EPIC CPU, a quad-core EPIC from AMD. And then, then there's also the, is it the 12600HX which is faster than the uh, locked quad-core older lake CPUs like the 12300 or the 12100F. So what we need to do, we need to download the BIOS version we wish to modify. We have to do a BIOS modification to be able to uh, overclock the CPU. We have to force the motherboard to use a very old 09 CPU microcode and then we can overclock the CPU just fine. That's pretty much the only thing we have to do. So I'm going to be doing the overclocking on the Z790 Apex N core on this video. So I have, all, I have already downloaded the uh, BIOS I wish to use, which is the 9905. That's the BIOS almost everyone used at the G-Skill Overclock uh, World Cup uh, live uh, competition back in uh, last May and uh, June at Computex of 2024. Well, early June, whatever. So I'm going to be using that BIOS version and then we have to find a BIOS it can be any vendor, any manufacturer, Z690, Z790 motherboard BIOS that has the 09 microcode available. I actually tried to open the Z690 Apex BIOS with the MM2 Aptio. It's uh, like BIOS or UEFI modification program made by AMI, whatever, however you pronounce that company like formally. But MM Tool Aptio, I think this version is from 2014, but it still works even with the latest BIOSes or UEFIs of today. So I ended up using EVGA Z790 Dark Kimpin, some of the later like official BIOSes. And what you could use, let's say Z690 Dark Kimpin, you can use Z790 Dark Kimpin, you can use, I think, some Gigabyte motherboard BIOS, but I just couldn't use. Asus BIOS because I didn't because I didn't find that specific CPU microcode that could be extracted easily. So let's do my way. So what we do, I have already opened up the MM Tool Aptio program. I will try to uh, provide the download link for this program as it's pretty difficult to find this particular uh, program if you just put it on Google. So what we do is we press load image and we put all files over here and then we should open up the uh, BIOS of the uh, known motherboard model where we can actually find that specific 09 microcode from. So I'm going to be using EVGA Z790 Dark Kimpin official BIOS 1.13. So we open it up, we go to CPU patch tab over here 
And here is the microcode we wish to extract from this BIOS file. This is the Alder Lake 09 my CPU microcode. So we select it, we press the extract a pa a patch data, and then we press apply. I think we need to put name. Hold on, so 09 NC. I don't know, did we actually get, get it right now? Let's see. Yeah, we got it. So that's how you do it. We got the 09 MC. Then we press the 09, I mean the load image once again. We don't want to make any changes, so no. All files. Then we open up the BIOS file we wish to flash on the motherboard. So this is Apex Enco 9905. Open. And now we are already on the CPU patch part over here. Then we just delete everything. Delete. Delete. So now we don't have anything. Now we want to just insert the uh, 09 data from the dark Kimbin BIOS. We go over here, open and insert. That's pretty much it. So now the BIOS file only has the old 09 CPU microcode from the dark Kimbin BIOS and then we just press. We can either save image or we can do it like Apex Encore 09 MC. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to be showing you how do you actually update your BIOS. You just put that modified BIOS file onto an empty, or, well it doesn't have to be empty, but FAT32 USB stick. You go to the uh, BIOS update utility inside the BIOS and we just flash the motherboard BIOS now with this modified BIOS file. That's simple as that. And now I will get back to you with the Apex Encore with the BIOS file flashed onto the motherboard. And okay, now I've flashed the BIOS with the uh, custom-made 9905 BIOS ROM with the correct microcode, etc. I already loaded one profile I've been testing. So we can just go through the settings here. You can see the microcode revision is 09 or just 9. So we are running the correct, the old one. And uh, I, I can show you the settings pretty briefly. So uh, we don't need to do any kind of like uh, initial post and boot at some uh, uh, preliminary settings like you might have to do on some other motherboard models here on the Apex Encore at least. You can just go for, you can actually go for the target frequency straight on. So we can aim for, let's say, 5.25 on the CPU, 4.5 cache. I set 7100 on the memory on this example because I have some, uh, well, at least I encountered with these uh, uh, locked CPUs like the G7400. I have uh, a memory frequency wall somewhere around 7400, 7500. Uh, but at least before 7600 and this varies on the motherboard being used. So I'll uh, use these settings. So just one, one to two ratio 7100. Uh, 7, 37 is the max multiplier we can use pretty much I think. Yeah, 70, 37. I think it's 37. Cash you can uh, you can go up to like one on one, but cache doesn't really impact the performance that much. And uh, there's actually a setting here. Well, I can show you these settings. So I just max out the CPU power management and everything. DG plus VRM, just your normal situation, load line calibration, etc. Nothing too special like how you would normally do when you overclock any CPU on this uh, motherboard and platform pretty much. But here, if we go to Tweaker's Paradise, I actually, I think I was wrong. So you don't need to set anything. Actually, you don't need to set anything on the FLLOC mode. So, uh, it's same thing as well on the uh, EVGA Dark Kimpin. Even, even if you get the gut feeling that you need to use the uh, 
FLL OC mode for heavily elevated bass clock. You don't actually need to set anything here because the FLL setting doesn't work on these uh, locked CPUs. This is only for the K SKUs, so the K models like the 1400K, 1300K, KF, KS, etc. But you can obviously set it at PCL KOC if you wish, but that's actually my bad. You don't need to set anything over here. And yeah, all of these weird voltages I've left at auto. You can enable the BCLK OC step if you want to use the buttons when you are in the uh, operating system, but you need to enable the runtime BCLK OC as well, but doesn't really matter to be honest. So, uh, voltages up to 1.4 seems pretty fine with this G7400. 1.35 system agent, 1.9 input and memory. I said 1.5 VDD, 1.45 VDDQ, and just max out the memory power settings, whatever how they are called. So let's try these settings. I'm not 100% sure on the memory, but CPU wise, this should be fine because these CPUs they do vary on the IMC. Like, does it work? But this is roughly my settings I'm going to be trying with this G7400 right now with this custom made BIOS. And okay, we booted into the operating system just fine. This is actually a recycled operating system from my recent LN2 testing when I used the EVJ board just to compare the two motherboard models, but it doesn't really matter. So here we can see CPU Z, we booted 142 base clock just fine with one attempt and note we also have the AVX 512 instruction sets so you don't need to worry about the AVX 512 at all even I mean when you just get the correct 09 microcode version uh, inserted onto your BIOS file you wish to use you should be good to go even with the AVX 512 as well so in the main board tab, we can see Asus ROG Maximus Z790 Apex N Core, 9905 BIOS from, is it April of last year? And memory, 7100 CAS 30, 45, 42, 38 common rate 2, and cache is at 4.54. And these are the G-Skill OC World Cup memory sticks from Computex of 2024. So, uh, we could try to run just to demonstrate the performance. Let's say something like white runs or 1 billion, which can utilize the AVX 512 instruction sets, all of the AV AVX instruction sets pretty much. This should be stable enough. So this was 1.4 volts, 5.25 gigahertz on the CPU. So temperatures are going up to like 60 something. Let's, uh, this should take close to one minute something like that and okay we are passing so seems to be just fine so it's actually not that more difficult than this and we can overclock these locked all the like CPUs just fine and I think this should work completely fine on some of the other motherboard models as well from other vendors so if you want to say if you want to use let's say some cheaper motherboard alternative because hey the yeah, Z790 Apex N Core might feel a bit too expensive for a simple CPU like the G7400, but it sh the whole procedure sh should be pretty much the same thing on other motherboard models as well. So here we passed this fine, 57.8 seconds on White Runcher 1 billion, and the top score with uh, a dual core CPU is 49 seconds something. So. The, de the performance is definitely there as this CPU has the AVX 512 instruction sets as most of these CPUs don't actually have the AVX 512. They, it has been uh, disabled by Intel already at the factory, but some of the earlier batch chips do still have the AVX 512 available if uh, you can just get it working with the motherboard you are using. Anyways, this is how you actually run and overclock these old and locked all the lake CPUs beyond 103 megahertz on the base clock with these newer Z790 motherboards. So if you like to see this short guide video, please give me a thumbs up 
on this video and subscribe to my channel. Maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my work. And yeah, thanks for watching some of my videos once again. And I will see you on the next one.